Hey guys, in this video I want to talk about parallel notes. How do I use them, why do I use them, and what do they do? And what's the difference between uh, parallel notes and serial notes? Here you can see this beautiful Mercedes AMG GTR Black Series, Jesus, what a name. And uh, I graded that recently for a project. And here you can also see the note tree that I used here, which is one of my typical note trees. So first of all, I did this color space transform. This was shot in Sony Venice. I had to put it in Sinian Film Lock for my Kodak LUT because it wants the Sinian Film Lock to work properly. Before that, I just did a small film curve, just a bit of balancing. And um, we have also the primaries. So everything beneath the color space and the LUT, I, I always try to grade my shots beneath that. And here I also put my my parallel note. I okay. overdid it a bit. You can see in the corners here. These four notes that I have here that are in parallel. I'll just deactivate them. See what they do? They just I just put some spots here. So I put a spot here. I put a spot here. I put a you know just a transition here. And I put a spot here just to put in some color in, in each and every corner, okay? So I often use this kind of technique to make the shot more interesting or to to uh, create a different lighting situation or to to improve the lighting situation in a shot or to, you know, when there's a window coming in from a window, I try to uh, brighten up the picture a bit more there. So there's in the other corner and in contrast to that, there's a bit more darkness. So it's just a overall a more interesting picture. This here is a bit more basic. So you understand the technique that I'm talking about. So uh, this will also help us when I explain to you what 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 this does in comparison to the serial notes. So I prepared this shot with this parallel note or with these parallel notes in, in the note tree. And I also prepared it with the same shot with everything the same, except these four are also serial notes here. So if we go into a split screen here, so you guys can see this. See, this one here is the one with the serial notes, and this one here is the one with the parallel notes. So every change that we have here in these serial notes has an effect on the notes coming after. So the grade is kind of piped through there, especially okay. if you look at this mask here, the circle, which is a very soft circle. and. This one here, which comes from from down here, they totally interfere with each other. You can see that? So this one pushes the image. There's a lot more sign in there. And this one too. So everything that changed here is, is only made stronger here. And the difference now is, if I go back to this note tree, so, Every one of these parallel notes has an effect on the picture that is coming out of here, okay? Usually I have just a denoise here. I don't know why I have that here. So I'll just remove this one. So we have my primary grade here. And every one of these has just an effect on the base image coming, not the base image, but with some balancing coming out of here, okay? So this one, won't make this one worse, you know? So the sign that I dialed in here won't have an effect on, on you know, they're, they're not on top of each other, which makes, which can always destroy your picture. The thing is, you can, you can always still work with, with serial notes, but it's a lot more difficult when you have a big note tree to keep track of everything that is going on. And just to be safe, you know, if I kept all of these circles in their own corner and one here, and they're not affecting each other, then then every, everything should be fine. But just to keep it clean and to be, you know, to keep track of everything that's happening, I would always advise you to use parallel notes in cases like that. 
And now you might ask yourself, why, why did he put this film curve here after this, like in a serial after this? And there are certain situations where you want to work, where you know what happened here and you want to work on top of that. You know, you want to make certain things that happened in this block here a bit stronger or you want to alter it. You want to alter the saturation or stuff like that, you know, then that's when you put this in serial. If I would have put this film curve or anything else like a vignette or something, I could also put a vignette in here. Um, it will always go back to this one here, okay? So it might be cleaner, it might be cleaner, you have to check that. There are certain situations where you go, let's see what happens if I put it here. Maybe the image is cleaner, or maybe you think, if I put it here, there's something happening that I really like, you know? But there's always the danger of things getting worse when you put them in serial notes. You know, because they're affecting, they're all affecting each other. And if there's chroma noise developing somewhere or certain colors shift in, in, a, in a weird way, then you always should check what, what, what is really happening in my note tree here. Now to demonstrate you the difference, the technical difference between parallel notes and serial notes, we'll just uh, add two parallel notes here. And then I go and just, for example, take the gain up to 1.5. Nice round number. And we'll just create a small soft circle here. We'll take this, copy that. So it's, it got brighter, of course. And if we go here, we just negate that. So the standard value is 1.0. And here we went up 0 0.5. And here we go down 0 0.5. So if I can do it there, there we go. So it totally negated each other. Okay, so that's why it's technically much cleaner to go this route. And if we go now and do the same with two serial notes, okay. We just copy that here. Copy this one here. And clean up the node graph. So as you can see, those two totally so we made it brighter here and we made it darker here so you see what what happened there it totally changed it totally changed to the to the image before so you you don't have it under control this way of course i could go and try to negate that now somehow but you still have this ugly halo effect see and you will never get back to where you were originally so a lot of the control you had is gone now i hope you like the small little tutorial and i hope you can understand better the difference now between parallel notes and serial notes and of course, some, sometimes there are happy accidents happening when you have something in a serial construction. Serial construction, that sounds wrong. <laughs> kind of, you know, when you have a note tree that is basically built off serial notes. Sometimes there are happy accidents, but you always give away control when you do that, you know. And if, if you do this dodge and burn technique, or if you want to change certain parts of the image, always go with a parallel note. So I hope I could help you. And um, if you have any further questions, just write it in the comments. And if you like this video, leave a like, leave a sub. Um, and I wanna do more of these videos in the future because I really like explaining this stuff to you guys. And oftentimes I even learn something myself. So 
Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.